So some people like to have apple cider vinegar every single morning. Some people like to have lemon water every single morning. Some people like to combine them. Do they work synergistically or is it really just one or the other? We see apple cider vinegar is much more reactive. And what I mean by reactive is you use that in response to have sort of a reactive effect on things. And I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Lemon water is a little more proactive. So lemon water is more about providing your body with certain things in a proactive way, whereas apple cider vinegar is there for like glucose modulation and being a little bit more reactive to something. So the bottom line is that they do work really well in tandem, but not necessarily like synergistically. So should you have them both together like daily? Absolutely. I think it works great. I think they work together hand in hand. So let's break it down. So apple cider vinegar is beneficial because of its acetic acid. That's the primary constituent that we pay attention to. Now from a fat loss perspective and things like that, it drives up what is called AMPK. And I talk about this at like to the nth degree on my channel. But what that means is it's basically making your body think that it's in slightly more of a deficit than it is. So AMPK is the energy sensor that understands like, oh, there is more demand for energy than what is available. Okay, so the body says, hey, we need, we need, like, we have lots of stuff going on, we need energy, but there's not a lot available. The more that AMPK is elevated, the more that that happens. And that is a phenomenally good thing, especially if you're on a weight loss journey, right? Because it's kind of signaling the body to start releasing fatty acids and release glucose from the glycogen stores. So your body goes through kind of this period of liberating stored fuel to ultimately burn it. So a very, very powerful thing. Now it's fairly complex with how it works, but that's my main reason behind like the apple cider vinegar piece. There's also some really sort of complex stuff and I'll touch on it briefly. It's a complicated bunch of jargon called histone deacetylase inhibition. There's some relatively newer science that has been exposed that talks about acetic acid acting as a histone deacetylase inhibitor or modulator. What that means is it has an effect on how genes are expressed. You might be thinking, okay, this is, I just want simple health benefits. What? Well, trust me when I say that this is very important because if you're expressing more genes, then you're expressing genes that may have to do with glucose metabolism or you're expressing genes that may have to do with how your brain fires. Very important things. So when I say it's like reactive, you use apple cider vinegar in a way to like sort of help your body deal with certain things. And histodeacetylase could be a very powerful way with that. Now, additionally, one of the most widely talked about pieces with apple cider vinegar is glucose modulation. Okay, because it drives up the AMPK that I talked about, because it helps out with carbohydrate utilization, it can make it so you have a little bit more stable blood glucose levels. So apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach first thing in the morning might be very beneficial before say having breakfast if you're eating carbohydrates, because it may stabilize that blood glucose, making it so you're not craving things throughout the day. Well, before I get into the lemon water piece, I wanna give a big shout out to our video sponsor, which is Thrive Market. Real quick, after this video, if you haven't already, check them out. They're an online membership-based grocery store. So like anything we're talking about, like apple cider vinegar, if you're talking about even literally lemon juice, stuff like that, you can get through Thrive Market. Really cool thing and it gets delivered right to your doorstep. And if you use that link down below, this time it's 30% off your initial order. Plus you get a free gift. So make sure you use that link down below, check them out after this video and a big thank you to them for the continued support on this channel. So lemon water has interesting properties. Now most of the effect of the lemon water in terms of our health benefit or everything like that has to do with the flavonoids and the antioxidant component, okay? Also, lemon water is a lot more of the nutritional piece, okay? So apple cider vinegar is reactive. It's having effects at a cellular level, whereas lemon water, it's more so nutritional. It's not about, you know, lemon water having this magical effect on cells or anything like that. It's more so what it provides to the body. Okay, so pectin, for instance, the fiber that is in just a little bit of lemon pulp that's gonna come through when you squeeze a lemon. That is a very powerful prebiotic, a very good fiber that is very good for gut microbiome diversity. So that's check mark number one, that's really, really good. 
Number two, it, it has an effect on uric acid, which you know it can make the joints feel a little bit better. But number three is simply going to be the vitamin C content. Okay, in one lemon, you have 21% daily value of your vitamin C. So that's what I mean by proactive. Okay, you're not necessarily going to take lemon water and it's going to immediately have a cellular effect, but you're providing your body with sort of the tools that you might need for things later on down the line. Also at the beginning of the day, stimulating gastric juices. Okay, so if you have an effect on the digestive system by bringing in a little bit more acid, sometimes it can help you out with that. There is some evidence, although it's not completely demonstrated, that it might make bile juices flow a little bit better. So if you're doing a lower carb protocol or something like that, perhaps that's a little bit better to help emulsify and break down fats. So that's something to count on as well. There was also a study that was published in Oxidative Medicine and Cell Longevity that took a look at citrus flavonoids and demonstrated that they may have an effect on the cardiovascular system and our overall metabolic health. So it could be through a bunch of different pathways, right? So indirectly, flavonoids can have an effect on the inflammation system within our body, on inflammatory markers. Indirectly, with antioxidant properties, they may have an effect. But I also don't want to, like, over tout it, right? Like you're not having magical things that happen with lemon. The question is just, does it make sense to add lemon to my apple cider vinegar water in the morning? Bottom line is yes. It's very inexpensive. It's going to have a positive impact in terms of your appetite. And at the very least, that's something to count for. But I think, in my personal humble opinion, that apple cider vinegar is really what is driving the benefit when you make that sort of cocktail, so to speak. And if you had to skip one, I would probably skip the lemon. And for those of you that are wondering, the lemon water is not gonna break a fast. We're talking like one to two calories and the positive effect of the lemon water is probably going to outweigh the one or two calories impact on your fast. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.